Hello, Peter Nelson here with Hobie University again. And today I want to talk to you about how to put your boat away for the winter. Uh, not all of us are fortunate enough to live uh, in Puerto Rico or, you know, Florida. And so up here in Seattle, we can sail all year, but we don't really want to. Uh, we shut it down. Uh, kind of gives a chance to rejuvenate and get excited for the next season anyhow. So I want to talk to you a little bit about how to put your boat away for the winter if you're in one of those climates where it's a good idea where you can't use it for an extended period of time. It's December here in Seattle, so it's a little late to be doing this. Uh, I put my boat away, I think it was in late October after we were done training for the Worlds. Um, so yeah, we usually shut it down there for about three or four months. I'll pick it back up again in March. So while it's away during the winter, there's a few things I want to do. Uh, probably the first and foremost is just wash the boat down. Uh, we sail in salt water, combination of salt and fresh. And I just want to give it a good bath before I put her away for the winter and just get all that salt out of there and just clean the boat up. Uh, if you're in fresh water, you may not need to do it, but there's a lot of fresh water that has a lot of mud and silt in it. So a little hose water might not be a bad idea anyhow. One of the most important things I think you can do is, if you've got the opportunity, is store the sails. Um, I don't want my sails going through the extremes of the heat and the cold, uh, particularly the cold. So I bring my sails in uh, during the winter months, keep them at a, in a conditioned space. So they're varying between, I don't know, 60 and 70 degrees or 65 and 75, but I don't want them getting down to 30 degrees uh, or, or less. So getting those uh, sails inside is important. Make sure you loosen the battens uh, and the jib battens also. During the summer, my, I personally, I leave my jib battens alone, but I do loosen my main battens after every sail. Uh, in the winter, I loosen all the battens and then before I put them away. Okay. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do is, uh, going back to the washing, is wash the, make sure you wash the running rigging, uh, particularly the, the main sheet, the jib sheet, uh, downhaul, stuff like that. Get the salt out of it because uh, if it gets stiff on you, that's because it's loaded up with salt. Um, so soak it in a bucket overnight, a uh, big bucket, so all that salt can uh, be dissolved. Next to putting your sails in a warmer or conditioned space, the next biggest and Actually, I guess washing the boat, too. Hopefully, you're doing that every time anyhow. The next biggest thing, though, is also just loosening the tramp. If you want your tramp to get an extra three to five years of life out of it, then keeping it, uh, then loosen it every winter. Uh, keeping it under tension all those months, especially as it's going through a kind of expansion, contraction, just not a good thing for it. So, Wash the boat, store the sails, loosen your tramp. Uh, while you're de-rigging your boat, check the uh, check the, uh, the boat for, especially the rigging, for corrosion and or uh, worn or broken parts. You see a, a, a split rings um, or or pins, or uh, you see corrosion in the in the rigging. You see some of the little wires in the rigging broke broken that particularly is is important and you're going to want to start saving up and get new rigging uh, we're going to go through a lot of this in the spring when we talk about how to get your boat ready for the season but now is a good time to start getting your parts list together and checking for those parts uh, the shackles the pins the cotter pins all of that uh, it's a great time. Uh, finally, uh, once you've kind of checked over your boat and you've end the trailer and you feel like it's in good shape, uh, then cover it. Okay. Uh, we live in Seattle under a lot of trees, a lot of needles, even leaves. Uh, so 
some of us, some of us that are fanatical about our boats uh, and have newer boats, uh, we actually go out and we buy boat covers specifically made for Hobie Cat uh, 16s. Uh, and even after I do that, I still cover the boat underneath a carport. Um, if you don't want to spring for that, uh, then uh, go ahead and throw a tarp over it. Uh, it's worth the tarp, trust me. Uh, even if you live out in the plains and there's just nothing around, you still get a lot of uh, pollution from the sky coming down in the rain. I'd still be covering it with a tarp. Uh, and, and snow and all of that. Again, um, just keep it, uh, keep that stuff off of it. Uh, and then uh, I was at a buddy's house on Saturday. He has a garage where he has the room and he actually raised it up uh, and, and, and stowed the boat up in the rafters, uh, which is a, a great idea. Not sure what he did with his trailer. I forgot to look for that, but at least the boat is uh, stored out of the way and it's out of the, the cold and the elements because you get that night sky on a clear night and that's really cold. That's where a tarp, a boat cover, carport, garage, whatever you got can really help. Uh, this really isn't related to the boat, but uh, when you're all done with that, which isn't a whole lot, uh, make sure that you wa wash your wetsuits and you clean your dry suits and, and your booties and the gloves and just get your rigging stored for a long winter uh, nap uh, in good condition. All right. Good luck. Uh, I'll see you out on the water uh, next spring.